Hi, I'm Fesma, 3D artist based in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. My work has this really surreal yet sci-fi vibe to it, with the signature color palette of red, blue and purple. Today, I'm going to be breaking down how I did the lighting of this specific artwork. Uh, it's a symmetric lighting system, it's pretty simple, uh, but quite effective. So without further ado, let's get into it. Overall, if you take a look at this, uh this scene right here, you will notice that the background is like way far behind the main character. This way we can like light it in its own way. So let's even start with the background. I'm going to disable uh, all my lighting systems except for the BG lights, right? BG lights are basically the ones that are lighting the background. If I press play right now, you will see that other than the emissive materials here in the scene, you can see that the lighting by itself has its own uh, lighting. This is perfect because you can actually fill the details the way that you want. Uh, so let's say that uh, you want to highlight more of the edges of the background. You just need to increase the intensity of these lights or maybe even add some light, other lights to the background. So um, one of these uh, systems is the overall lights. Let me disable the background and enable the overall lights. This is like the meat of the whole lighting. You will see that right here, I have a rim lighting come, coming from the back to the character and some of the few lights uh, for the body. Uh, since I'm going for a symmetric composition, all the lightings are fully symmetric, right? Uh, one thing that is important to notice here, uh, I have two dome lights. These uh, HDRs, they have like a, a stronger light coming from the left. So I usually do this. I duplicate the dome light and rotate them 90 degrees. So I kind of have a dome light coming from the right, another one from the left. Important to note that I, I left these notes here. The background is excluding, uh, sorry, the dome light is excluding the background plane. Uh, with all lighting in Redshift and Octane is the same way, you can go to the Projects tab. I'm not sure if Octane is Projects tab, but at least Redshift it is. Uh, you can go for the mode and you can exclude certain assets from the scene. So to make sure that I can fully control uh, how the lights will work with the background, with this plane right here, I've excluded it from the uh, dome light. You will see that if, if I change this to include, you see like now the background is affected by uh, the dome light. If I go to exclude, it's not anymore. Um, so following ahead, like this lighting is too flat. So as I showed before, the idea here is to build some other lighting systems in a way that I can highlight certain features of the scene. So uh, let, let me disable the overall lights and go ahead to the body lights, right? These lights here are, are main, mainly fill lights. You can see that they are not, they do not accentuate the, the silhouette of the body, but they are mainly working to create some fill, filling lights in the scene, right? Nothing hugely special here, but like you have the lights uh, behind the visor to make sure that you have a few lights here and you have other lights from the the tech parts influencing the body. Important to note that if I'm not mistaken, some of these lights, yeah, for example, the hair key light, uh, for me to have a more, to distinguish the body and separate the body from the background, I added this hair key light. It's not exactly key, it should be rim light. Sorry for the <laughs> technical terminology there. But the idea here is to have a little bit of separation for, from the background. If I activate the background system, you will see that this light is super important for me to distinguish from the background. If I disable this light, boom, you cannot see the shape of his head uh, that well. And it's, it is cool because like this light is only including the, the hair, right? If I exclude the hair, it will affect like the, the tech parts right here, but I'm only including the hair, making sure that it's only affecting the hair because that's its purpose. Uh, moving on, uh, these lights in specific, they do not accentuate the, the, the silhouette of the body that much. You can see here that I have some highlights and some rim lights coming from the background. And that's the next, I believe, uh, yeah, that's probably the next system. Let me disable the body. 
let me disable the background and activate the tech lights. Yeah, there you go. Some of these lights are only affecting the tech side of things. Like if you see these two lights over here, they're only here to affect this uh, mechanical part. They're not affecting the body by itself. Because um, I mean, this lighting is not fully realistic. I, I need to <laughs> stress this out a lot. But like to me, uh, I like to add some more highlights to the mechanical parts. So to avoid this bleeding out to the body, uh, this specific lights here, let me try to find them out. Yeah, they're only including certain um, uh, mechanical parts. Uh, and some other lights coming from the background, they are, ha they are adding this silhouette. So it's really cool when you layer together this tech lights with the body lights, now it starts coming together like some, some details per, plus some filling. And since the overall lights, they have this really blue and, fat and flat uh, tone, uh, if you add the overall lighting, it kind of adds up and the overall light, blue lights mix up with the red and now becomes a little bit purple. Um, and you can add the background lighting to make sure that you add some more details in the background and everything comes together. So yeah, I think that <laughs> this tutorial, quote unquote, is more to break down how I do my lighting in, in this type of scenes. I find this really important because a lot of 3D artists, they get too caught up in doing only uh, realistic lighting and, uh, oh, I can only do the HDR, I cannot add anything else. But like, this might be a little bit overkill, but once again, if you're not going for a super realistic lighting, you are more than free to experiment around with different uh, systems and overlaying them in a cohesive way. Okay, hopefully this video gave you a better understanding on how I do my lighting and now you can apply these techniques to your pieces too. So yeah, thanks for watching, see you in the next one.